All right, guys, I'm gonna wire up one of the new light boxes today, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I take these female 12 volt adapters on my lights. I'm going to cut the amount that I need. I think I only need four for this one. So, got one, two, three, four. And then we're just cutting, cutting what you need off of it. Now, on this, you're going to splice into one side. So I guess let's go right here. And this other one, I'm gonna cut a little lower to begin with. So it's not gonna like line up and touch the, the two connections together. All right, and then we're gonna do the same, but the opposite way over here. So these are gonna line up. And then I'm gonna cut the negative right about here. Next, I'm going to add a little heat shrink tubing to it just so I can make it look tidy later. And then negative is going to go to negative. This is where you would add those, um, the soldering things you just use a heat gun for. They, they're much easier to use. I just don't have any on hand at the moment. Solder these together real quick. So then after under the heat shrink tubing, it, it will be this far apart, won't cause any issues. That's nice and sealed. Now we're gonna separate the LEDs. All right, so now we got four separate LEDs. Start just putting the cord through. And these just have sticky backs. Right. 
go this way first. This side. You don't really need any more on the other side. And then to keep these down, I usually use Kapton tape. Um, I don't have it with me, but I will do that once I get upstairs. And then let's go plug it in. Okay, I lied. Went to go get my Kapton tape. This is just heat, high heat resistance, kind of like electrical tape. I'm taping these down just to make sure the cords don't come up above the lights and cause a, a shadow behind it, which I have done before, so. Now let's go plug it in. <laughs> 